back at you, buddies. Hey, concert buddy. You like burgers? Like cheeseburgers, double cheeseburgers, turkey burgers, veggie burgers. Yo, know, I love burgers. But have you ever heard of a sound burger? I had until recently, and now I actually have one. Let's talk about it coming up. Welcome back, buddies. Thanks for joining me. So burgers, what a weird, cheesy, wait, hang on a second, cheesy way to introduce a video. Cheesy just came to me. I promise you, the pun was completely unintentional. And to be honest, I still do believe that shit. I digress. I digest, as a Brett Terry, one of my favorite comedians likes to do, or likes to say. Burgers, sound burgers. How does this happen? Well, first of all, if you're new to the channel, if this is your first video, thank you for joining me. But if you've been watching me with any degree of regularity, you've heard me talk about I'm a sucker for late night shopping, right? If I can't sleep, I'm looking for records late at night. So this takes me down a really interesting well. But before that, I've never even heard of Sound Burger or Sound Burger put together until maybe a month or two ago. And George Borden, friend of the program, friend of the show, great guy in the vinyl community, he took a trip recently and was talking about he wanted to take his Sound Burger and play a record on the airplane while it was in flight. First I'd ever heard of this. Come to find out, obviously, through his gift of storytelling, that it was a portable record player. He brought a Beatles record. He wanted to listen to it while in flight, at least on the departure end of his trip. Success. My man's the Christopher Columbus of the vinyl community. But anyway, first time I'd even heard of Sound Burger. So then let's fast forward to just a couple weeks ago. In my Instagram feed, I see my friends at Josie Records. They've got stores in Dallas, Kansas City, Sedalia, Missouri, my Oklahoma City. I follow the Dallas shop on my Instagram, and they said, back in stock, Sound Burger. And so they showed this. And I thought it was cool looking. Yellow got me. But they posted back in stock and didn't really talk a lot about it. And then the link they gave wasn't even active. I couldn't even explore what this was. So I just commented like, Hey, do you guys have like a link that works? You know, sometimes people respond, sometimes they don't. Anyway. So later that night, late night shopping, I can't sleep thinking about records. It's a sickness. It really is. Are you kidding me? Scrolling through my device, looking at records. And then it kind of dawns on me like, Hey, what was that sound burger? Like, what was that about? So I do a, a, a mini deep dive as best you can, two in the morning. Find out that Audio Technica debuted the sound burger 40 years ago, 1983. And apparently it's a very collectible item to electronics geeks. That this was, in, in essence, Audio Technica's attempt to capture some of the lightning of the bottle that Sony did with the Walkman, which came out in 1979. Big difference is that, yes, they both, you can take music on the go. In principle, they're very similar, but in practicality, taking a cassette tape, put it in a machine to play with headphones, you can put it on your belt, hold it, whatever. A lot more mobile in that uh, device than a record player. Sound burger has to be set down. It's just like any other record player it needs the ability to play, etc. So, Audio Technica, it's apparently in their 60th anniversary of business, 40th anniversary of the Sound Burger, they brought it back. So now I'm intrigued. Just as a, like a curiosity, morbid curiosity kind of thing. So then I kind of go back to Josie and I can't find it on their site. I go to Google, I, I try to find these things sold out everywhere, sold out. Apparently they did like a pilot program in late 2022, sold out right away. They only came out with red units, and then they relaunched them this year with black, white, the yellow one I just showed, etc. So now the FOMO starts kicking in. Where, where on earth can I track one of these down? I can't find it at Josie, who brought the concept to my mind. So I literally, no fooling, got out of bed, 
went to my computer at my desk and I just start hunting. Because now it's kind of like a competition thing. Like, I got to be able to find one of these things. Couldn't find it. Couldn't find it. I found some on eBay, but of course on eBay, people had bought them to flip, marked them up, etc. These would usually retail about $200. Throw in the towel. Like Mickey's. Throw in the towel. Like Apollo. Throw in the towel. Rocky, throw in the towel. Throw in the damn towel! I think that's done. Well, the next day, wouldn't you know, Josie Records replies back to my comment on Instagram. Oh, here's a working link. Perfect. Still wasn't working, but I think I could copy and paste and make it work. So I go, put it in my browser. There it is. Product description page, the PDP, pointing right at me. Available. Cool. Add cart. Now, I've gone this far. <laughs> like Andy and Frank says. How about you go a little bit farther? And if you've come this far, maybe you're willing to come a little further. Boom. Bye. Now, full disclosure, did I need a sound burger? No. But does anybody really need something that brings a lot of fun and just something kind of different to bring up, break up the monotony of their life? No, probably not. <clears throat> so... Lo and behold, I guess apparently I bought the last one because I refreshed after my purchase and it sold out. So, oof. Got in by the 11th hour, the 11th hour. So anyway, this guy arrives and I'm very intrigued. Come in this really cool box. Let me grab it here. Um, it's a sound burger. I mean, it's technically the model is ATSB727, but would you rather go searching for... ATSB 727 or Sound Burger. Like, come on. Easy. Yeah, bitch! So, got it. And then I've never done an unboxing. I've never done any of the stuff on the channel. So, this is all new for me. So, I'm going to walk you through some of the footage, kind of talk over it, and tell you my initial thoughts. This is a first impression of the video. It's very clear. I wasn't paid, I wasn't sponsored. I bought this with my own money. This is just morbid curiosity. And in case you were morbidly curious too, not morbidly obese, morbidly curious. Maybe you are, I don't know. Let me walk you through what my first impressions are of the sound burger. All right, upon opening, uh, you gotta take this little pin out of the back. Don't drop it like a dope. But uh, there's actually, this is for the power cord. It plays on batteries too, but uh, I wanted to at least have a direct line of power into the sound burger for this demonstration. All right, so I've got the lid open. Uh, as you can see, tone arm is pretty basic. Um, I'm gonna hit a couple buttons here because I was just trying to figure things out. The instructions were not very clear on this. That's for a manual start if you want to start spinning. Um, there's a lot of different buttons on here. Again, not a fan of the instructions, but the long and the short of it is the tone arm can kind of rest on that player, but that right there, is kind of the spring-loaded mechanism. If you pull the tone arm all the way out to a 45-degree angle, it actually stops. That's how you start-stop the platter to spin. Then it became a matter of what I want to listen to first, so I actually was cleaning records for a record show, and I pulled out a LP. Don't forget to take out the adapter, because that'll come in handy here in a second. Anyway, I put the 12-inch LP. This was Share, which you'll hear from in a second. Make sure you put the adapter on the right way, it goes hold down for LPs, and then 45s the other way. Then I put the hood back down, and then it simply lifts the tone arm, clicks that spring loaded, and then you can literally just start playing. Very easy. It doesn't take long to figure out how it all works. Uh, for my audio purposes, I used the sound uh, Bluetooth speaker because it is Bluetooth enabled. It does come with AV cables if you want to plug into a receiver or if you want to listen to it on like different type of speakers. So all in all, it's cool for sure. Is it something that you should recommend for sound quality? Nah. And I think going in, if you are thinking that like you're on the wrong path, it's, this is just a lot of fun, really cool. Really cool design. I mean, if, if you're somebody who can appreciate aesthetics and sleek and design kind of cues like Steve Jobs was big into at Apple, this is right up your alley. It's fun. It's something that if you have the discretionary income, like by all means, knock yourself out. But would I go and sell your current rig 
<laughs> so I would have a sound burger. No, 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 no. I wouldn't do that. But it's fun nonetheless. And fortunately, I'm in a position where I was able to just have fun with this. And, you know, I don't know if I'll permanently keep it. We'll see how it goes. But for now, a lot of fun. Anyway, all that said, buddies, tell me what you think. Sound burger, great idea, bad idea, stupid idea. Tell me in the comments below. I'd be curious what you guys have to say about this. And if... For whatever reason, you're inspired to go buy these. Good luck because they are still sold out. Uh, you can get in-stock notifications if you go to Auto Technica's website, which I think I'll put a link in the comments below. But it's interesting, right? I mean, if nothing else, plus love the burger. <sighs> love the burger. Anyway, buddies, thank you for watching this. Part of my mess, we're, we're currently moving, so I've got for the next couple of videos at least until I'm in our new house, uh, you're going to see a lot of crazy shit. Uh, Michael Jackson bad moving is bad. That's why that was a, that was a deliberate choice. Milk was a bad choice. That was a deliberate choice. But anyway, buddies, thank you for watching. Love to hear from me in the comments below. Until then, if you're moving records, which sucks, or if you're listening to a sound burger, which is cool, <laughs> if you get the chance, just spin it. See you again. Well, well, well. How the turntables. Well, we're out of time.